company culture is such a intangible thing. Like, how do you improve a culture? Yeah. And so, what we found, and you know, trial and error, is that coming back to core values, and that you know, as corporate or hokey as that sound, really matters because it it really actually for Zappos at least it's the underpinnings of what company culture is all about, and it's. Because of those those ten core values at Zappos that that allows the company to scale at the rate it has, um, having a company under a <clears throat> hundred employees is a bit different from when you're a few thousand, and and by having those values, you basically allow your employees to make decisions on their own, because in the end you have that trust because they're making the decisions based on a, a shared set of values. Again, I don't want to be, uh, you know, harping on these core values too much, but it really goes back to that. Uh, the performance reviews, well, typically it's performance reviews, but at Zappos is actually cultural reviews, and the whole idea is that you shouldn't really have it once a year or once a quarter. It should be every day, and the cultural reviews is the sense of like these are ten core values, and these are the ones that you're actually doing really well at, and these are the ones that you can uh, improve in. So that. It, with the whole, I guess, thought and, and, and analysis behind, if you make your employees more happy and and um, and aligned with the culture and the, and the values, then they're actually in the end more productive and better at what they do. Yeah, it's actually increased to four thousand dollars now. Um, basically, four thousand dollars to anyone that um, wants to quit. Uh, at the end of a five-week training program, uh, everyone's offered that, and and the main reason why it's four thousand is because not enough people are taking it, and and the the thought behind that was just that it really pushes people. I mean, four thousand dollars is you know not a tiny sum of money, and uh, and it it really makes you know people think: is this the right is this the right role for me? Is this the right culture for me? Are these the core values that I'm actually you know going to live by? Um, and so it, it's proved to be a, an interesting exercise and you know pretty successful in weeding the people that are not necessarily aligned. Let me start with this. I mean, if you've ever had a chance to watch a video or take a tour of Zappos, uh, it's a wonder how work gets done because you look around and there's cowbells going off and people with Nerf guns and you, you think it's a circus, but at the same time, everything's getting done, and I think it's this whole idea of like make your employees happy; they'll be more productive. And you know, there's this the common sort of surveys and um, you know managers supervising to make sure at the end of the day these things are being uh, you know all the goals are being achieved at the end of the day. So so it really is by letting go and seeing people be true to who they are and actually you know when, when people ask uh, how do you hire so many people that are smiling all the time like how do you get them to smile and in the end of the day it's just like well you hire the people that are already smiling not the ones that you have to train to smile because that's a trainable thing to do.